Okay. Um, and okay. Do you the closest whiskey house to you? Uh, Dingle or Middleton. We're caught between both. Okay. But two very good options. Okay, great. And we uh, have it in the hotel. You can oh, taste it with us. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Um, let's see. Fabulous. Fabulous. How long have you been relaying Chateau, Sheila? Uh, about 23, 24 years. Just a little, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Same age as me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you been there for that long? No, 15. Oh, 15. <laughs> That's still a long time. 15 years. It is. Um, yeah. Whitney mentioned that uh, you guys have a great food tour. Do you have horses on the property, Sheila, or yeah. nearby? You had yeah, on site. So horse riding on site. Yeah. Okay. And I believe children are welcome. Is that right? We do. We love kids. We have lots of room configurations that are suitable and cottages ideal for kids and lots of kid friendly activities as well. I bet that falconry would be fun for them too. Yeah, the chocolate making. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. Um, can you <laughs> Not just for a, kids. Right. For me too. Yeah. Um, can you give us a price range for the cottages um, for late summer or early fall? Um, so they start, our smallest is two bedrooms um, from about 600 euro up to 1500 euro. Okay. Um, the, is that the water? That's the ocean. Is that a lake or an ocean? Well, we're right at the end of Kenmare Bay. So it's the Atlantic coming yeah. through, but it's a, it's, yeah. It's like kind of a, the bay. a river that becomes. And then the river one side and it flows into the bay at the front of the hotel. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's just, it's the, the photos are incredible, but when you go there and see it in real life, it really is something else. Um, Whitney sounds like she's seen the cottages. She said that they're amazing. Mm. Um, and to open it up to the rest of you, do you also, oh, I guess Damien and Margaret had to leave um, about golf. Uh, Christopher, I'll get back to you on that golf question, but Sheen Falls, Sheila did mention that she does have. Um, Adrian, do you have golf nearby where you are in Tipperary? Oh, wait, J um, Adrian, we can't, we can't hear you. <laughs> yes, we do. We, we have... Okay. Uh, we have golf in uh, Tipperary and Dundrum, very close by. So there's two two very nice courses nearby. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm sure. Yeah. It sounds like golf is something that's readily available throughout the areas. Um, Sheila, we've got one last question before we pop over to Park Ken Mayor. Do you have are the kid activities separate from the parents or pseudo? Or um, no, parents would need to attend okay. with kids, but they don't necessarily have to participate. But they would need to Still stay and supervise yeah with their kids okay great thank you sheila thank you all right so let's head to our last stop of the day i kind of want to keep going through ireland and see more um but let's visit with john who is with park ken Mayor. he's the owner of park ken Mayor. hello everybody can you hear me Yep, we can you hear okay you. On that? Great. Well, I'm delighted to see that it is the first webinar I've ever been involved in that no one has dropped out. Everyone <laughs> has stayed online. So it's absolutely fabulous. And thank you thank very much you. indeed. We hope to entertain you for the next five minutes with another property okay. down in the southwest called the Park Hotel Kenmare. Myself and my brother own the property. And it is, as Sheila says, just in the center of, of Kenmare town, which is a lovely little village in the southwest of Ireland and very unique because it is at the top of this estuary, which we've just discussed. So we're actually on the sea, but we're actually inland. So while we don't get the bad winter storms that ravage the coast every winter, we're actually protected. So as a result, the, the gardens and the vegetation in the area is very lush and really, really nice to, to visit. If you see Kenmare here with the little red dot and just south of that Bantry, and then you go down around that peninsula and down around the next peninsula to Cahirsveen, around to Killarney and come back to Kenmare, you'll have done around about 200 miles, but you will not have seen one factory. There is no mass employment in this part of the country except tourism. And that is wonderful because that goes back to the mid 1800s when Queen Victoria visited the area and highlighted the area as a holiday spot. So there's an awful lot of history in the area, but also from a guest's point of view, there's an awful lot of escapism because there's just nothing, certainly on the Beira Peninsula, there is nothing there. I mean, you have the book there to prove that you won't see any 
big buildings in any of those pages you're looking at. So this is the town here on the right hand side, Kenmere. That's the estuary we see on the left hand side. The star is the Park Hotel, our hotel here in the middle of Kenmere, and the triangle is the actual town. Very, very interesting town because when it was planned in 1662, it was planned as a triangle. And if America and Manhattan didn't have the Hudson River, we'd be in Seattle by now. So a triangle you cannot expand, a grid you can always expand. So the ethos of the town is the exact same as it was in 1662. We have three streets, the main street, which is a very, very wide street, which was for trading cattle. We had a narrower street called Henry Street, which is the shopping street, still very, very prominent today. Beautiful little small boutiques, coffee shops, restaurants, and interesting antique shops in Henry Street. And then you had the residential street called Shelburne Street, which was the street of the, the, the fine houses as such. And thankfully, the Park Hotel occupies that site there. Over on the right hand side where you can see the red dot, that is the 18 hole Kenmare Golf Club. That is a parkland course. Um, but generally speaking, when Americans come to Ireland, they want to play Lynx courses. And the Lynx courses by their nature are along the coast. But Kenmare is well situated to benefit from the best of them, from Ballybunion to Waterville to Hogshead to Old Head and Kinsale. Uh, Kenmare is the central point between those four championship Lynx courses. So it's a good spot for your clients to base themselves. So the hotel dates from 1897 and uh, we have 40 bedrooms, two restaurants, a bar and a very fine spa. So in plain English terms, we don't do weddings, dinner dances, funerals, baptisms, divorces or or, um, separations. We look after happy couples on their holidays and that's what we have done since my brother took over the hotel in 1980. It's very, very uh, resident only focused. But the nice thing about it is that the hotel was originally built as a hotel albeit only 14 bedrooms. So the proportions inside are actually commercial, which means there's nice wide corridors um, and it's a lovely feeling and ambience as a result. So some of our gardens here that lead down to the water, um, you see our terrace there where we serve afternoon tea. And then this is our reception desk. Everything in the hotel is antiques. We don't have any reproduction furniture anywhere. It's not a museum and um, children and families are more than welcome. Nothing is protected and they actually feel as if they're on a set of, um, what do you call that fellow? Um, hugs, what do you call it? Um, oh, the magician, what was his name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, one of those old houses where kids get lost and they dream about and it's all happened um, in, a, in a bygone age. But when they come to the park, they feel very much at home and an experience that is quite rare and unique. This is our fine dining restaurant here, um, which serves a, a, a tasting menu nightly, five course or seven course. And then we have also got a, a brasserie style restaurant adjoining, uh, which is a more um, family orientated uh, menu um, and lighter in its in its approach and um, but both restaurants work very well but we are on the edge of Kenmare and Kenmare is the only town in um, Ireland with more restaurants than pubs and as we've discussed whiskey and Guinness and a whole lot of things there is an awful lot of pubs in Ireland and um, but actually to have a town that has more restaurants than pubs is quite quite a statement for the town and that very much stems from the fact that we have two Raleigh Chateau hotels in Kenmare a small town of 2,000 people so the clients that both the Sheen Falls and the Park attract to Kenmare sustain that type of uh, um, level of restaurants in Kenmare, which is quite unique. I think you have to go, if you use the Michelin Guide, you have to go to a town in Austria with 20,000 people before you get a um, number of restaurants that are listed in Kenmare. So it's quite special from that point of view. These are our rooms. No two rooms in the hotel are the same. And um, this is one of the rooms in, in, in our wing that was built in the mid 80s. Um, and then this is a house, a room in the original part of the house. So they're very different, very homely. The Americans love the squeaky floorboards. The Europeans don't like squeaky floorboards. So we absolutely allocate people to the rooms on a one to one basis, very, very much hands on. We don't have anything else to distract us away from the guest and their experience with us. So we manage that extremely closely and extremely well. Um, 10 years ago, 12 years ago now, I think we built a spa and we decided we would build a destination spa um, as opposed to a swimming pool with treatment rooms. Um, and as a result, we have a very, very fine spa. We have the Bamford products we use in the spa and Sisley, um, which are two very, very nice products um, that we base our treatments on. And the unique thing about Savas um, and our spa is you don't have to book your treatment until you actually come. We're not of the belief that you can book, know what treatment you 
want two weeks in advance. So two weeks in advance, you book your time. And then when you arrive in the spa, you decide what your mind and your body actually wants at that particular time. It's a much more guest orientated approach to spa. And it, it, it results in a really, really good experience for the guests that's totally focused on the way they feel at that particular moment. So these are relaxation rooms and uh, we took out 15,000 cubic meters of rock to build the spa because all the treatment rooms are underground. In this relaxation room, you'll see there's ash beds here made by Joseph Walsh in Cork, who's a very famous um, a cabinet maker in Cork, and um, he made these from timber that we cut on the site when we were removing the rock. So we've totally separate spas. The man from New Jersey, Mr. Nipper, we went, um, a regular client of the hotel and we did a lot of research and he said John he says I'm never going into a spa and I said hold on a moment we're going to build a male spa and a female spa he said it doesn't matter he says I'm never going into a spa but we built the spa and when he comes in May and comes in October he goes to the spa every three days as a result because it's not threatening it's totally focused on him. So we also have a 25 meter swimming pool and um, you don't have to book a treatment to use this. And um, this is part of our sauna and our gym area, which is open to all residents of the guests of, of the hotel. The treatment area, you have to book a treatment to go in and use the vitality pool in that area. So it's a totally separate, different mindset totally. So this is a 25 meter stainless steel pool, four foot six deep. Um, all the way through. We do water aerobics in here. We do a very, very successful learn to swim program, which is one of the most successful programs I've ever been involved in. And um, so if you come to us for two days, we guarantee we'll have you swimming um, by uh, the end of your stay. And it's lovely because a lot of people find it very hard to find a property in which they can learn to swim in, in a nice environment. So as Sheila said, the surrounding area is just full of nature. Um, and uh, we're right in the heart of it um, and to benefit from beautiful day trips and um, cycling tours. And also in the hotel, we do yoga, Pilates, Tai Chi, Oriental movement, morning serenity walks, moonlight, starlight meditation daily, which are all complimentary classes for our guests who stay with us. So again, this is just a picture of the town again with the golf course here on the right hand side and just a, a snapshot of the whole area. This is the Ken Mayer, the top left hand page picture here. That's actually Henry Street, which is the shopping street. And then we have other pictures from the tennis on the grounds to the uh, golf course and to the Skellig Rocks down on the bottom right where Star Wars was filmed recently. A majestic place to go on a boat. We were here with guests two weeks ago and we saw humpback whales breaching. And magnificent photographs, which you can see on our Instagram page, um, but it is beautiful, uh, magnificent wildlife there at the moment. And that is it, a very simple property, 46 bedrooms, two very fine restaurants, a bar with a wonderful whiskey collection of over 400 whiskies and a wonderful connoisseur of whiskies, our bar manager, John Moriarty, um, right in the middle of a town, but you don't know anything about that when you're in the hotel because you're overlooking the country and the water of the Atlantic. So we're delighted and thank you very much indeed for staying with us. It's not easy to stay, keep people on the line an hour, but we hope you found out a little bit more information that you didn't know an hour ago. And thank you. And thank you, Amy, for having, hosting us all. Yes, thank you, John. That was, a, that was awesome. I love it. I mean, all those little tidbits of information. And I think you were talking about Harry Potter. Everybody was... Harry Potter, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you all my Irish colleagues for the help. Yeah, well, I think it was actually the agents who were com who were commenting on there. Oh, but we're all muted, that's why. But anyway, so um, real quick, before we do our drawing, which might have helped with keeping, I don't know if you noticed, but the number went up during your presentation, <laughs> which I'm not sure how that happened. But um, before we do that, I just wanted to give a little shout out to Alison Nash. She's here in the room today and she went, she came with me to Ireland um, last year to visit. So she probably came in to see you, Adrian, to see Cashel Palace and then also relive the amazing Irish experience. When, and we came in December, I think it was, and we still did all the activities and hiking and it was really just gorgeous. So as they said, Ireland really is a destination that you can visit outside of just summer. So um, keep that in mind. John, we have a couple of questions. Do you have butlers on property available? If um, somebody we have, we, we, ha we have a host of butlers on the property insofar as we have nothing else to do except look after the resident guest. So if a person would like a dedicated person to stay with them for their entire stay, that's not an issue whatsoever. Perfect. John Moriarty took me hiking. He was incredible. Oh, yes. On the Saturday morning <laughs> hike. Yeah. Yes, in, it was in gorgeous. In the of her ancestors. That's a great one. I loved one. it. Yes. Um, 
Is Park Hotel Kenmare um, family friendly or do you have any age restrictions? No age restrictions at all. Okay, thank you. Is the pool salt water or chlorine? The pool is actually UV treated. It's a stainless steel pool and bacteria in swimming pools mainly grows on the grout between tiles. And when you don't have tiles or don't have grout, the requirement for um, chemicals is much less. So we UV treat the water and we put in a very, very small amount of chlorine. Um, but it doesn't need anything more than that. It's, you would, don't know there's, it, it, there's anything in the water whatsoever because it's stainless steel. I mean, what an answer. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, Christopher. Yeah. Um, okay, some people have had to leave. I'm sorry. I'll send everyone the recording afterwards. Um, what is the temperature range in the winter? Um, the, the, the outside temperature, the ambient temperature in the winter? Yes. Um, it, it doesn't vary hugely across the country. We, we never get extremes in Ireland. In America, you get extreme winters, you get extreme summers. We don't get that. We run at 60 degrees between 55, 60 degrees there, thereabouts. Um, frost and snow and ice in Kenmare in particular would be extremely rare. I think I'm there 25 years. We've had two um, snowstorms in that period, I think so. I think I visited in November and I'm from California, which we have no extreme and it's pretty mild all year round. And I was okay, it wasn't too cold there. Yes. Um, I was, you know, hiking and all that stuff. Would you dedicate a certain amount of stay to the spa? And how much of your stay would you dedicate to the spa? 46% um, of our guests use the spa for a treatment. But we, we, you, the, the important, and this is very interesting now because we built a wall to separate a corridor from the hotel to the spa because I didn't want bathrobes in the hotel lobby because that's not, if you want that, you can go to many, many Miraval and um, Canyon Ranch, a whole host of them in, in the States, which are totally dedicated spa properties. That's not the park. The park is a luxurious, a personal experience of which you can experience wonderful world-class spa, but it doesn't dominate. So it would be 46% of our guests use the spa. So the spa is a pretty big uh, part of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do the drawing. Are you guys ready? I'm going to um, just scroll here. And Sheila, since you're the only gal here, just tell yeah. me when to stop. And then I will see where we land. So this is, again, one night at each property, complimentary bed and breakfast, and additional nights at your um, choice at a discounted 50% off. Are you scrolling? Yeah, I'm scrolling. Oh, stop. <laughs> Whenever I do this, I can't see the name. It's just a, it says Katie, but I can't see. I'm gonna allow you to talk. Katie Bendel. Katie Bendel, you are the winner. Uh, I'm trying to, can you hear us? Woo! <laughs> Katie, you are going to Ireland. Nice. Thank you so much for coming today. I will connect you to uh, the hoteliers, but that wraps it up for us today. Thank you for discovering Ireland with us today, and we'll see you next time. Ah, thank you. Very thank much. you. Bye. Bye. Thank bye you, bye. Katie. <laughs> that was fun. All good? Yeah, we are all good. I'll send you a follow-up later, and have a great evening. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Rachel. John. Give okay. my best to Francis. I will do that indeed. Okay. He's still in today as well. So. Oh, he's okay. No yeah. Okay. Very good. Take care. Thanks. See you, Sheila.